fragrance notes versus fragrance accords. A lot of people don't know the difference between these two things. Some people think they're the same, and some people just don't know what accords are. The thing is, they're not the same. Uh, they're similar, but they're not the same. So it's actually very simple, and yet not so simple. A fragrance note is a singular note that you would find in uh, a fragrance. So for instance, uh, if I have Chanel number no. five, it has, for instance, uh, a note of sandalwood. So that's just a single note, and it's referred to as a note. Uh, an accord is a collection of notes, kind of a string of notes. So again, Chanel number no. five, an accord would be, for instance, sandalwood, civet, and amber, or something like that. So just a collection of notes put together to create a, a more developed fragrance. So, but it doesn't stop there. The thing is with accords is that they have to be very, very finely crafted and well thought, well, th well thought out and put together. Because, I mean, there are thousands of different notes you can use for fragrances and not all of them fit together. Also, the result kind of depends on how many notes are put together, maybe even where they are put together within that fragrance. Um, and there are actually very few fragrances that use a singular note and don't have any accords. Uh, the only one I can think of really is um, Not a Perfume by Juliet Has a Gun, because it only has one note, which is uh, Ambrox, which is a synthetic derivative of Ambergris, which is a, a marine musk. Besides that, I also think there was a fragrance in the 60s which was just patchouli, like patchouli oil, and that's it. Besides that, uh, pretty much 99.9% .9 of all fragrances have more than one note. Because that gives it more complexity, more room to develop and evolve as you wear it, so it, just, it makes for a more interesting fragrance. So then you also have to consider top notes, middle notes, and base notes, because Again, pretty much all fragrances have those uh, levels. And th there might be different accords for each level. So often top notes might have several different types of citrus. They might have lemon, bergamot, and mandarin orange. Then the middle notes, usually floral. They might have um, rose, iris, and jasmine. Then for the base notes are usually muskier and heavier. They might contain uh, musk, leather, and incense, you know, things like that. So, you know, these different kind of groups for these accords uh, throughout a fragrance makes a very big difference on how, not only how the fragrance smells, but also how it smells over time. Because if you, for instance, if you put on uh, a fragrance, you just spray it on, you'll get different notes compared to the notes you'll get five hours later, you know? The opening, when you first put it on, Usually it's going to be bright, maybe it has some citrus notes, um, you know, very distinct. Then it kind of calms down into the middle notes, and then after a few hours you get those base notes. So, kind of chemically formulating a fragrance to do that it takes a lot of work on the behalf of the perfumer. Um, there's also a lot of thought put into what notes are paired with each other, because it's kind of like uh, when, when you're doing a painting, if you just throw all the colors together, it's going to produce this gross purple-brown mess. Uh, and it's kind of the same with uh, fragrance notes. If you just jumble all of them in together, it's not going to produce a good fragrance. It'll probably just give you a headache. But if you carefully choose, pick and choose your notes, you will create a more elegant and refined product. And that's, you know, designer perfume houses uh, take a lot of time and effort to do that, um, to create their very high-class fragrances. And, I mean, there are some obvious combinations that wouldn't go together, like you could get, I don't know, civet and cotton candy. It wouldn't turn out, it would just be weird. Um, then you have Accords that are very natural together, you could mix um, jasmine and musk, that's a very popular combination. Incense with some uh, balsamic or resin notes, like amber, um, for more of a heavy kind of scent. And just knowing kind of how to pair notes like that and turn them into these accords, uh, 
manages to create a nice perfumed product. And sometimes it takes months or years to come up with perfumes kind of using that technique. And for example, uh, the Jean Patou brand has a fragrance called 1000 because apparently it was reformulated 1000 times until the perfumer was satisfied with the result. So for, just from that example alone you can get an idea that it takes some effort to mix notes properly to get the right result because notes are just, these fragrance notes are really just fragrance molecules, chemicals. Um, and just depending on how they chemically react with each other and your nose, your olfactory uh, bulbs, uh, that will determine what it smells like. So, especially over time. So it has to be really kind of exact. Um, and that's pretty much most of the science behind fragrance notes and fragrance accords and um, how they reveal themselves over time as you wear them. So. That's pretty much all I have to say about accords and things like that. Uh, if you have any questions or opinions about them, you can leave those down in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.